Hello everybody, I'm this is Pablo Wegerson back again with another YouTube speech. So um yes, um Donald Trump is gonna be president of the United States of America. Hey if the other forty nine states want them, they can have them. Hawaii, it's time. It's time for Hawaii to be independent. We don't have to put up with Donald Trump, okay? We don't have to put up with his nonsense. It's time for us to go our own way. It's time for us to do our own things. It's time to have our own leaders. We don't have to answer to Donald Trump. We answer to ourselves. No, there's a lot of hesitation, which is understandable. So, the one part of hesitation is that, you know, Hawaii's just a small place and and people hesitate that, you know, like, what, we need all the um, resources you can get from the, the big United States. Singapore is independent. Singapore it's a very small city that's independent. It is not a part of Malaysia. It is not a part of in Indonesia. It was a colony of the British, but they that, that ship sailed a long time ago. And they're one of the most prosperous countries in the world. If they can do that, why not us? Why not Hawaii? There's other, other places that are small that can hold its own. Look at Switzerland, a small country, independent, prosperous. We can do that. We can do that. We can do we can be independent and be prosperous. Why not us? Botswana is one of the most prosperous countries in Africa. Doesn't have the, the drama that this next door neighbor in Zimbabwe has. So why not us? Why not us in Hawaii? Why? I mean, we need all the federal money. Federal money is taxpayers' money. Why do we need to pay taxes to the U.S. and we can just all the tax money can just stay here in Hawaii? Why not? You know? Why should our tax money be going to military bases around the world? We just pay our own taxes and pay it over here. Keep our tax money here. We don't need our tax money going to Washington DC. We don't need our tax money going to projects in different parts of the continent to US. Let's all our tax money should just stay here. We don't so instead of relying on the federal government to fulfill our needs, why don't what our tax money be paying to the federal government? We just pay it to make it stay in Hawaii. We found our own stuff. Yes, it's gonna be um some trouble transition. Transition is always hard. Always. It's always a tough time to transition. But let's do this. Let's do this. Let's transition. Okay, it's gonna be hard, but you know what? All the federal projects, we pay for ourselves. We find our own revenue sources. So another thing too is um another people might hesitate is um you know like maybe like some people who are in the US military, like you know, they, they feel like even if they grew up born and raised in Hawaii, they feel like a sacred obligation to the United States, and that's understandable. But let's also remember that George Washington and a lot of other um, revolutionary heroes, a lot of them were part of the British Army before they changed sides. In fact, like a, a decade before the U.S. Rev the American Revolution, we had um, a lot of these soldiers that were fighting the revolution, like a decade earlier, these people were fighting for the British against the French over like like what is now Canada and some parts of what is now the US, um, the Midwest and all that. It's like, so you think it was easy for a lot of um, US American revolutionaries to turn against Britain? A lot of them gave their lives for Britain. But they got to a point and said, you know what? It's time to us, for us to um, do our own thing. Time for us to fund our own projects. Time for us to make our own rules. We can do the same for Hawaii. We can do the same. It's time. So it's time for hesitating to be independent. It's over. Also, another thing people might hesitate because, you know, people think of Hawaii sovereignty movement. They think of people like on NAK Trask. If they're sovereignty activists, they kind of turn off a lot of people. Um, they don't have to be the only ones with agendas. We make our own agenda. Okay, you don't like the agenda of um, on the K travel? They don't speak for every native Hawaiian. They don't speak for everybody in Hawaii. 
it's time for everyone else to rise up and say what they want their agenda for Hawaii besides what Honolulu K Trust is. We don't have to listen to them. They have their own opinion, that's fine. It's time for everyone else who wants to have a Hawaii independence to have their own agenda of what they want for Hawaii. They, I mean, just last night, like, Kili Aquino, which is a, a Native Hawaiian um, who has more libertarian tendencies, he won a seat to um, the wa Office of Hawaiian Affairs. He won a seat with um, both Native Hawaiian and non Native Hawaiian support. So you have Native Hawaiians who, mean that, who don't align themselves with the radical left um, agendas of Walter Ritty or Hanani K. So, you know, and other people might worry that if Hawaii becomes an independent state and it might be um, go with the liberal agenda when it comes to um, gun control. You know, you know, we have a lot of Native Hawaiian guys who are pig hunters. They're not going to give up their guns without a fight. So I don't think guns will be banned even if Hawaii become its own country. They might, I mean, we might still keep the same gun control laws we have now, which I don't agree with all of them, but I don't think it'll be a total gun ban because these, the Native Hawaiian who are hunting pigs, or not only Native Hawaiian, but other people who hunt pigs and other, um, there's a lot of hunters in rural areas, they're not going to give up their guns without a fight. Okay, so I'm not worried about a total gun ban and, in Hawaii. Maybe some of the rules can be more lenient here, but I don't think it would be a total gun ban. So yeah, so there's a lot of things that that we can do in Hawaii that um, we can make our own rules. We can pay, we can keep all our tax money here and fund our own projects. We don't need to um, always rely on the federal government to bail us out. We bail ourselves out. We set our own agenda. It's time for us to stop depending on the U.S. government to bail us out. Start funding our own projects. Start making our own rules. Start being responsible for how we spend our money, because once we're responsible for how we spend our money, we can't. We can no longer um, beg for the federal government, for the U.S. to um, bail us out. So we gotta make our own fiscal decisions and take our own responsibility for our own decisions. It's time. We don't have to put up with Donald Trump. He doesn't have to be our president. It's time to separate. Another thing I don't like about being dependent on the U.S. the Jones Act. Okay, the Jones Act requires all. All ships that go from one U.S. port to another be a U.S. ship. So we can't have any ships from like Japan or any ships under Norway or any ships under any other country to go from Hawaii to California. Only can be U.S. ships. And that's a big inconvenience because why not have more ships? Why not have more competition between um, where ships go from where to where? You know, it's like, it's just, and this, um, only having U.S. ships going from one port, one U.S. port to another makes everything more expensive. I mean, we already have a high cost of living because you know our limited space. But why make it worse with them only allowing like U.S. ships going from one port to another? Or you know why? Why can't we have foreign ships? You know, going foreign owned ships going from you know having those you know those cruises going from like California to Hawaii. Why not have that? You know, like we have all these cruises going from U.S. to the Caribbean. Why not have foreign ships going between um, California and Hawaii? You know what? Once. Hawaii becomes independent, the Jones Act doesn't apply to us. That's the other 49 states problem now. We don't need a Jones Act. Hawaii become independent, we don't need a Jones Act. Jones Act doesn't apply to us. Any ship can go from Hawaii to California or Hawaii to Seattle, whatever. We don't need to rely on only your ships going from California to Hawaii, whatever. Ships can go from Japan to Hawaii and to California, you know. You can, you can, Ships can make a stop from here to there, you know? We don't need the Jones Act. Okay, that's, once Hawaii is independent, the Jones Act is the other 49 states problem. It's time for us to be independent. No need the Jones Act. No need to be dependent on Donald Trump. No need to be de relying on um, the federal government. Oh yeah, the military too, going back to the military. Um, yeah, people might worry that, oh, we might need the US military to defend us. You know, we make our own military. We make our own military. We have a lot of Hawaii-based people who are part of the U.S. military. We can use their expertise to develop our own military. So all the like, Hawaiians who are in the U.S. Navy or all the Hawaiians who are in the U.S. Air Force, we can use their expertise to develop our own military. We can use their expertise to make our own weaponry or do our own training or whatever. Yes, yeah, so we can. There yeah, are a lot of people, Hawaii-based people who are in the military in the U.S. that can use our expertise, we can import that expertise over here. 
So yeah, we don't. So definitely we'll um. They may be show our ships too. Maybe maybe we may import some ships for our own navy, or maybe we can make our own planes or import some planes for our own air force. That's fine. It's time. It's time for us to be independent. All right. So anyways um. Let me see. Let me see if there's anything else I gotta say before I end this video. Um, uh, I forget and all that stuff, but but definitely um. It's time. It's time for you to be independent. We don't have to be dependent on Donald Trump. He's the other 49 states problem. This it's time for us to be independent. We do our own thing, all right. Well, anyways, um, have a nice day and think about what I'm saying and just this time, all right. Thank you. Mahalo.